Hello guys, welcome to a new playthrough. So when I started this channel 14 years ago, one of the things I really wanted to do is play all these games that I loved growing up. And for the most part, I have done that. I've played Resident Evils, Silent Hills, Metal Gear Solids, etc, etc. But the crazy thing is, one of my favourite games growing up was Tomb Raider. And I haven't ever, in all those years, played a Tomb Raider game on the channel, which is insane. So we're going to fix that today, and we're going to play the original Tomb Raider, uh, thanks to the Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3 being remastered. I'm going to start off on Lara's home and sort of go over the basics again, although I'm sure I'll be fine. And then we'll move on and do the first level all in this first part. I will apologise in advance if I do talk over Lara, um, because it's probably going to happen, but I will do my best not to. Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Here we go. The nostalgia's kicking in already. I love Croft Manor. Uh, yeah, any point you can press a button and turn it back to 1996 mode. Um, I'm sure most of you already knew, which is really cool. So you can like keep flicking back and forth and looking at how much it's improved. Use the D-pad to go into the music room. Now hold on a second there, Croft dear. We want to finish looking in here. Um, one thing I wanted to say as well is I am playing with the classic tank controls, but you can switch to modern controls, but for me, that's blasphemy, because uh, I'm just so used to playing with the tank controls. So, yeah, I have had a go with the modern controls, but it feels weird. So, yeah. And you can see outside now as well, which is... It's, I mean, you can see outside before, but there wasn't really much to look at, and they've actually give it a proper outside, which is uh, nice. Anyway, let's go do some training. Okay. Let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. Easy, innit? Oh, it's like I've never left. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably am going to be kissing this game's ass quite a lot, so just to be warned. Yeah, um, you look outside now, it looks so much better. It looked, I mean, obviously you can go out there in the later Tomb Raider games, um, but back in 1996, they were just literally the outside when you look out, you can see there's like a wall there. So these were just like rooms that they kind of made to look like they're outside, which, you know, not complaining. I'm just saying that good for them, like actually putting an actual outside rather than glorified outside rooms. <laughs> They've also improved the art, which is uh, is very nice. I mean, Look at that. And now look at it. Same with this one up here. You can see it's an early 18th century piece. Absolutely stunning. Ah, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Lousy delivery people. They go, oh, we'll be there sometime on Monday. If you're in between 9am and 11pm. I'll oh, fuck you, delivery people. Can't you see I've got Lara Croft things to be getting on with? But no. God, imagine living in a place like this. How great would it be? Run up to a crate, and while still pressing forward, press action, and I'll vault up onto it. Right. Yeah, and again, we can look outside, which is, which is one of the great things about windows, <laughs> being able to look outside. What's in all these boxes? Like, these are big boxes. I mean, you've got a lot of stuff. Right. And over here we've got, of course, the uh, the Indiana Jones uh, reference that, you know, looks much more impressive now. Um, yeah, what? I mean, I've moved house before. I just got a couple of cardboard boxes. The crates is insane. This used to be the ballroom, but I've converted it into my own personal gym. What do you think? Well, let's do some exercises. I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. With the walk button down, I won't fall off, even if you try to make me. If you want to look around, press and hold the look button. Then press in the direction you want to look. I think I cut Lara off there by moving too quickly. Also, this if I'm ever going to talk over Lara, it's going to be in this section. Right. This place looked alright even in 1996 mode, to be fair. Okay, let's do this thing. If a jump is too far for me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk to the edge with the white line until I won't go any further. Then press jump immediately, followed by forward, 
and while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button. Here comes the money. Press forward and I'll climb up. Nice. And that's one of the easier ones. Imagine jumping that in real life. If I do a running jump, I can walk to the edge with the white line until I stop. Then let go of walk and tap backwards to give me a run up. Press forward and almost immediately press and hold the jump button. I won't actually jump until the last minute. Look at that. All right. Right, this is a really big one. So do a running jump exactly as before, except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. Nice. <laughs> nice. Now that impressed Lara, we actually got a comment. Try to vault up here. I can't climb up because the gap is too small. But press right and I'll shimmy sideways until there is room. Then press forward. See if we can impress Lara again. I'm gonna gonna show off now, see if we get like a uh like a <gasps> noise or even better with this handstand that she didn't even ask me to do. Look at that. Tap backwards and I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action button and I'll grab the ledge on the way down. Wow. She did not even give a shit. She's just like, stop showing off, you twat. <laughs> Get on with it. Go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. The jump button and the directions move me around underwater. God, it'd be so good to have something like this in your house, wouldn't it? Look at that. Look at the water graphics. I mean, these graphics back in 1996, these, I remember these water graphics used to impress me <laughs> back in the day. It's like, wow, it's never going to get better than this. But boy, how wrong I was. Right. Let's go for a swim in our own massive pool that we can afford. I mean, it's no big thing. We've got the Ark of the Covenant by our front door. So, you know, we've got a few quid knocking about the place. <sighs> oh, air. Just use forward and left and right to manoeuvre around on the surface. Press jump to dive down for another swim about, or go to the edge and press action to climb out. Yeah, we might as well get out and hear Lara say her iconic line. We've pretty much done everything. Right. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. Nice. Well, obviously that was Croft Manor. Um, <laughs> you go back to him in the other games and obviously there's a lot more opened up. So, yeah. We'll jump into the new game. This does have the Unfinished Business expansion, which was never on consoles, which I haven't, I've yet to check out, but I will do eventually. But for now, we'll just head into new game. What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does, from Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow?
nostalgia overload right now. I love this first level as well. I think this is like one of my favourite first levels of any game ever. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. I mean, in 1996 mode as well, it still looks like iconic. I mean, this is up there for me with like Res the original Resident Evil in the mansion and all that sort of stuff. It's uh, I mean, it's so cool that they remastered these and um, you know all three of them as well. Tomb, Tomb Raider one's my personal favourite, with two being a close second. But yeah, right. <laughs> Dodge the arrows with style. Uh, in terms of like secrets and pickups and stuff, I'm not going to be going out my way to get them all. Um, Oh yeah, they've added these, like, see in the original, there's no, like, uh, like the ceiling is closed off. But then they've opened it up to, like, obviously let let, let some natural light in to help it breathe. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there's a, a first secret over here. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be going for every single secret or every single pickup because two reasons. One, I can't be bothered and some of them are annoying. There's one later on with a time door. Um, I love the secret sound effect as well. <laughs> Uh, I love all the sound in this game, the, the soundtrack and just the little effects, it's just so good. Yeah, um, yeah, there's one with Time Door later that I, I just don't have, I don't want that stress in my life, I want this to be a relaxing sort of playthrough, so I'll just get secrets and pickups when I can remember them, because I won't remember them all, and if I can be bothered. Um, I'll probably get them all on this level though, because they're easy and I can remember where they all are. <gasps> bats! Why did it have to be bats? There's one a lazy one just lagging back here. Sorted. Right, okay. Let's uh, go get our second secret since they put two so close together. Got another natural light source here. It's good for the modern cave, you know. Not these old dark, dingy 1996 caves. Get with the times. This is a weird ledge here. You have to, like, you can't jump and hold X. You have to hold up and X, like up and grab or whatever it would be on whatever console you would be playing on. I don't know why. And here we go. Another small medipack. Sweet. Yeah, uh, Yeah. this is my favourite Tomb Raider. Uh, and I think it's, again, with nostalgia. I love, a lot of people's favourite Tomb Raider is Tomb Raider 2. It's actually a similar sort of thing with the original Resident Evil games. Uh, my favourite Resident Evil is Resident Evil 1. And the majority of people I know, Resident Evil 2 is their favourite Resident Evil. So, yeah, similar sort of thing. Another skylight, very nice. Um, yeah, not that, obviously I like Tomb Raider 2 and Resident Evil 2, but I just prefer the originals. I will be flicking back and forth in the 1996 mode, not just to see the difference in how it looks, but because sometimes the, the areas are really dark, and if you flick back to 1996, the lighting is, uh, it like lights up stuff. There has been an update though, because some of the items originally when this came out were um, hard to see, and they've done an update to make the items more visible in modern mode. But yeah, see there, I mean, look how much lighter that is. Um, of course, you know, if I go on to play Tomb Raider, like, the other Tomb Raiders, in Tomb Raider 3, you know, you get flares and stuff. I don't... I think you're doing two as well, actually. Yeah, you're doing... Oh, I don't know, someone will correct me. Like, I, I think you do. Okay, well, we'll be on the other side of that fence door in a minute. Um, I'm going to do another... I always handstand on this ledge, I don't know why. Yeah, there's so many iconic moments in this uh, in this first Tomb Raider as well. I'll see. Uh, one of the like, the favourite rooms, like in this first level, is this room coming up now with the the wolves that <laughs> have the strangest growl of all time. Right, let's uh, fight them up here like a coward. Oh, he's fucked off. He's fucked off right to the other side of the room. He'll be back. They always are. I know where you live, wolf. Oh, there he is. <laughs> nice. I know where you live. Here. Yeah, the other one's got up. Come on, then. Come do something. Let's see you climb up here and kick my ass. Huh. Fool. Of course, our, our handguns have got infinite ammo. Because they're magic. Not complaining. Not complaining at all. Sounds like I'm complaining. Ah, yes. Yeah, this... I love the like the snow falling from the the sky now and stuff and uh, yeah they did a really good job with it uh, though there was like some glitch trophies originally which they've patched now and like I say some items were um, 
like you couldn't get a certain item on one of the levels that made the platinum trophy unobtainable and uh yeah also some items were ridiculously small like keys you couldn't even see them in shit right this is another thing that i love about the i did say i'd be kissing this game's ass a lot but look at the difference with the old little uh plant life and shit like <laughs> Ah, 1996 plants. Gotta love them. But um, slightly improved now. Right, we've got a bear down here. He's, he's got a bear bruv. Where the fuck is he? You can actually... There he is. You can. Not that I'm going to be doing this, but this is a sort of like a cheat you can do. Go into photo mode. And you can scroll down and see that I can see where the bear is. But also, you literally can go wherever the fuck you want. Like, I can fuck off down here if I want. See what's ahead. Which, uh, obviously, you couldn't do back in the day. But don't worry, I won't be doing that, because, uh, yeah, it's cheating. <laughs> and if I was going to cheat, I'd use the uh, the weapons and the level skip, which I won't. Right, well, he's fucked off in there now, so we're going to have to bait him. Jabated, as the streamers say, as the kids say. It's going to be really poggers. <laughs> right. Nice. Didn't, didn't, not taken, taken any damage like yet. Normally I'd, I'd like, have done something stupid at this point. Usually fall damage or something. Oh. Maybe we could do level one, no damage run. Maybe that could happen. All secrets, no damage, all pickups, 100%. Like, yeah, I could be that guy. Although, most likely not. Because I'm sure I'll get injured before the level's out. And I'm not going to be rushing through any of these levels either. Um, right. Oh, yeah, you can see on the compass, like, yeah, see, we need, we need one more secret and four more pickups. So I'll perhaps look at it from time to time. But like I say, I'll just get them when I remember them. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got old Bonesy over here. There he is. How did he look in uh, 1996? Oh, God. Yeah. Even Bonesy's had a, a makeover. He looks great. Lost a bit of weight. Right. Uh, I always get sort of uh, discombobulated when I come to this bit. When I come out of that little secret room. Sometimes I run all the way back up to the other side of the room. And I'm like, uh, wait a minute. This ain't the right way. But I don't think that's one of these times. No, I've come the right way. Great. And we've now looped back up to where we uh, took out that bear. We did it without a single damage. A bit of damage being taken. Take that, Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. He definitely didn't beat that bear, taking no damage. He got fucked up. Uh, right. <laughs> Another medikit. Doing all right. We're definitely going to need to stock up on these, because I'm definitely going to be rinsing through these on some of the later levels, most likely. Uh, all right, epic music time. Yeah, the, the the soundtrack. I mean, sometimes the music is too epic. <laughs> it has that problem. It's just too damn epic. Especially in this bit, because literally there's just a couple of wolves in here. And it's like, going all nuts. Like, you know. You know, Bigfoot's going to come out and fight us. Or some shit. But it's just two wolves. Two punk-ass wolves. Right, another pickup here. And uh, we have our final secret in this room as well. And when we activate the secret, like, it's going to cut off this epic music. So I apologise in advance, but I'm not going to sit here and wait for it to end. I'm not I'm not a DJ. I'm an archaeologist. So <laughs> I've got shit to do. Right. There we go. Look at that. I mean, in 1996, that looked pretty cool, I guess. But it looks even cooler now. And another medikit. Is this, uh, oh, this is a larger medikit. For the larger gentleman. Or explorer. For the explorer that has nothing to hide, but still wants to. Okay. Now we got a little timed lever thing going on. Uh, and already we're very close to the end of the level. And I have been dawdling, obviously getting everything and... Jabbering like a fool. Right, let's pull this bad boy and do some uh, parkour to... Um, you you got to admire the, the people that built this place, you know, setting up all these time doors and stuff. But, you know, is it practical when they were knocking about here? Is it? Oh, shit. 
Oh, no. I don't think I... Oh, for fuck's sake. I swear, am I going to miss this door? This door, like, gives you, like, four hours to get into it. Like, it's the longest... Oh, my God. Fuck's sake, that's embarrassing. I know... <laughs> This always happens when you record. Stuff goes wrong. I don't think I've ever... Unless, like, back in the PS1 days, I might have not got to that door in time. But I'm glad I was able to hit record this so everyone could see how much I suck. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Right. Let's, uh... Try again. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Probably should have moved over a bit. Okay. Yeah, how practical was this? Like, you know, for when they were just knocking about here. Probably not very. Right, let's do an epic little uh, dive through the door. No, that's walking. Shit. There we go. Get <laughs> out. Okay. That was a control fail. Ground control to Major Tom. Right, more arrows. Always love doing these little swan dives for him. And then we got a wolf around this corner, which I sometimes forget about, but I've remembered today. Just dive around and bust a cap. No, no, fuck's sake. Oh, shit. Oh, he heard my plan. Oh, what I meant to do was that. Jump around the corner like that, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, uh... The controls are failing me here on level one, or I'm failing the controls, whatever. But, uh... Yeah, probably gonna need to sort that out. <laughs> it's not a good sign. Right. Uh, there is a pick, another pickup coming up. And another wolf, which gets its own epic um, theme tune. Write the theme tune. Sing the theme tune. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's an odd reference. Where is he? There he is. Yeah. You thought two wolves having this epic music going off was insane. Just one this time. And there's our final pickup, I believe. Um, just double check. Yep, three of three secrets, seven of seven pickups. So how are we doing? Like, uh, five small medikits and two large. Nice. Cool. Uh, well, yeah. So far, so good. We're definitely going to be needing them. Hopefully we can get the majority of the secrets on the next few levels. So that we're sort of in a good place. Because uh, that's the thing. Though I don't want to go through all the pain in the ass secrets. A lot of them obviously do have, like, ammo and... Uh, health items that we're probably going to need so but i'm not doing that time door one on level five i think it is i can't remember what level it's on i'll know when we get there i'll point it out and it's shit and i will not do it or maybe i'll have a go i don't know we'll see <laughs> cool good start yeah no damage no damage run pro strats 100 percent. yeah so this is not a walkthrough obviously this is just me mucking around but uh you know Take that walkthrough, people. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I sure settled your hash today. <laughs> All the haters. Right, so we'll do our first save here. And I'm going to end the video. And, um, yeah, I'll call it there. So next time we play, obviously, we'll do level two. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.